Okay, I will explain I will explain this chapter called linear equation one and two. Actually this is the chapter for modern max and then I think this is this is something very important chapter and it's a very basic and I think this basic is very useful when you go further about mathematics. Okay. First linear equations normally will want us to find the value x and y by solving our, these two equations so yes so in order to make this question look simple and easy to solve so i teach you all one method i think this method is very common also and then and i think most of the school are teaching this method okay the method is called plus and minus means you you want to delete x or you want to delete y or so some people say you want to you estimate uh, you, you want to estimate uh, what's the value for x and then you're trying to delete x okay for here if i choose to delete x so what i need to do is i have to make sure both also is 2x and then 2x minus 2x then i can delete x okay so what i need to do now okay i let this equation is the first equation this is the second equation yes so in order to to make the x become 2 2x two i have to multiple x for the whole equation I mean i multiple x for the whole equation then this one will become 2x so what i do now is I, I write here the equation the second equation i decide to multiple 2 okay i multiple 2 for the second equation this is second equation so i multiple 2 what i got i got 2x plus 6y equal to negative 10 okay now this one this one is 2x if i use okay i give this equation is the third equation if i use the first equation minus the third equation then i can straight away delete out 2x because 2x minus 2x we have got zero zero means the x but no more already then we only left y here then we can easily find the answer for y okay so let's continue by okay so i use the first equation minus the third equation okay because this is first this is the third i use first minus this one so see 2x minus 2x 2x minus 2x okay in order to make this one easy understand a bit so i i try to write out this one okay and i think in the exam you do need to write write out the so detail okay we continue here okay 1 minus 3 okay so i write out what is the first one is 2x minus y equal to 4 what is 3 will be 2x plus 6y equal to negative 10 okay this these two i just copy here so you see 2x minus y equal to 4 2x minus y equal to 4 and then 2x plus 6y equal to negative 10 i just copy here so yes so we continue do here okay so for the first one okay one minus three this is this is one this is three so minus what happened is i i put a minus here the minus is very important because sometimes you got wrong value because you forget about the minus here okay so now 2x minus 2x 2x minus 2x we got zero okay negative y minus positive 6y so means negative y minus y minus 6y so we got negative 7y okay and then we got 4 4 minus negative 10 4 minus negative 10 minus minus we got positive so it means 4 plus 10 4 plus 10 we got 14 okay if you still very confused how to solve like 4 minus negative 10 maybe i can write out here this one we call it 4 minus negative 10 so when you see minus negative negative multiple negative you will become positive so positive means 4 plus 10 so we got 14 okay so therefore negative 7 y will equal to 14 so in order to find y okay we divide negative 7 for both 
So, okay, I divide negative 7 here. I divide negative 7 here. Because when I divide negative 7, negative 7 and negative 7, I divide, I left y here. And 4, I divide negative 7, I still have negative 2. Therefore, I got y is equal to negative 2. So what I do next is, I substitute negative 2 into one of this equation. Okay, I choose the first one because the equation looks simple. So here I write, substitute, substitute y equal to negative 2 into 1, into the first equation. So it means all the y here, all the y here, I change to negative 2. So this one will be 2x minus y, okay? Minus y equal to 4. So y now is what? y now is negative 2. So I just put in the negative 2, okay? Then 2x minus negative 2 will mean negative, negative will become positive. So this one will become 2x plus 2 equal to 4. Okay, so plus 2, I move here, will become minus 2. So 2x will become 4 minus 2 will become 2. Then x will become 1. Therefore, we got two answers for this one. Therefore, we got y equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 1. That's all for the first linear equation. That's all for the first linear equation here. Okay, so what you need to do is you make sure one of the x or one of the y become the same and then you can delete it or you can plus to, to delete it. Okay, so in this question, I just multiply two for everything because I, want, because I want to make this one become 2x. Then I can use like 1 minus 3, I can delete the 2x, then I solve the other part. Okay, we have a look on the second one. Okay, have a look at this one. x plus 2y will equal to 6. And then 3 over 2x minus y will equal to negative 7. Okay, when you do the linear equation, when you see fraction, it's, it's something like, uh, it will confuse a lot of students. So what I suggest here is that when you see the fraction, you're trying to multiply 2 for everything because you want to delete the two bottom okay remember when you see the fraction like three over two if you multiply two what will happen you multiply two you two and two delete you only left three so when i multiply two here i will only left three here so what i do now is i let this one is the first equation this one is the second equation so i use the second equation multiply two because i want to delete the fraction Okay, so this one multiple 2, we will got 3x. This one, negative y multiple 2, we get negative 2y. And negative 7 multiple 2, we got negative 14. Okay, so this, I assume this is third equation. Okay, now both also got 2y. Okay, if both also got 2y, you have to decide one thing is, you have to use minus or you have to use plus. Because in this equation, both also is positive 2x. Because after you multiply, both also is positive 2x. Therefore, you 2x minus 2x, you can delete 2x. But then in this one, one is positive 2y, another one is negative 2y. If positive 2y minus negative 2y, you will get minus negative become plus, then you will got 4y. Then in this one, you have to plus in order to delete y. So I use one, plus 3 okay so I just write right down here to make you easy understand plus 2y equal to 6 and then 3x minus 2y equal to negative 14 then I plus for this one okay so plus what will happen 3x 2x plus 3x we got 4x Positive 2y plus negative 2y, we still get like 2y minus 2y, we got 0, so I didn't write 0 here, equal to 6 plus negative 16, 
means 6 minus 16 uh, 16 plus 6 minus 14 so 6 minus 14 you got negative 8 therefore in order to find x I did 4x means 4 multiple x so I delete x here I divide x here I divide I divide 4 here and I divide 4 here 4 and 4 I delete I let x equal to negative 8 divide by 4 we got negative 2 then I can get the value for x so after I got the value for x I want to find the value for y so what I do now is okay I substitute okay I write short form substitute x equal to negative 2 into 1 because the first equation is simple so it means all the x I change to negative 2 so we got x plus 2y equal to 6 so x plus 2y equal to 6 so what is x here it's negative 2 so negative 2 plus 2y will equal to 6 then 2y will become okay negative 2 plus so negative 2 plus here we move here will become 6 negative 2 will become positive 2 so 6 plus 2 we got 8 therefore 2y will equal to 8 okay we got 2y here 2y means 2 multiple y in order to get y I divide 2 for both so 2y divided by 2 we got y so 4 divided by 2 8 divided by 2 we got 4 okay therefore x we got is negative 2 and y we got is 4 for this question okay when you see fraction you don't panic first when you see fraction you're trying to mount multiple two for everything then the fraction will, will become this simple equation okay if this is like three on the bottom you just multiply three it's like six on the bottom you just multiply six okay we see another one more question which have the fraction as well okay let's okay okay have a look on this question uh, this question they didn't use x and y they use m and n okay x and y or m and n actually is a totally same thing okay so let's have a look on this one okay i see 2 over 3 m minus n 2 over 3 this one is a fraction so what you need to do the first step is because this is divide by 3 over 3 mean divide 3 divide 3 and multiple 3 i can see easily delete the 3 on the bottom so I do the same I let this one is the first one I let this one is the second one so I use the second one multiple 3 because I want to delete the fraction so when I multiple 3 2 over 3 and multiple 3 we will got 2m only okay if you if you're not sure about this one you can just like do a little bit here like 2 over 3 m multiple 3 then 2 over 3 m multiples 3 like 2 3 m multiple 3 we will got 6 m 6 m divide by 3 then 3 and 6 we simplified we got 2 m or you can straight away simplify here so you got 2 m also so i straight away get 2 m okay okay 2 m and negative three, n multiple 3 negative n multiple 3 we get negative 3 n we equal to 2 multiple 3 we got 6 so this is the third equation okay now this one got 3n this one got negative 3n means you cannot use 1 minus 3 if minus negative 3n you will become negative negative positive so you become 3n plus 3n you got 6n then you cannot delete n so we have to plus so for this one i use 1 plus 3 okay so i rewrite this one m plus 3n equal to 12 this one 2m minus 3n equal to 6 so in order to delete 3n i plus okay because if i minus this one become negative negative it become positive then 3m plus 3n will become 6n so we got wrong so m plus 2m we got 3m 3n plus negative 3m means 3m minus 3n we got zero then it's nothing okay then 12 plus 6 we got 18 okay 3m in order to get m only i divide 3 for both 3 and 3 i simplify then i only left m here so m will become 18 divided by 3 we have got 6 
okay after you got m equal to 6 what you need to do is you substitute back if in one of the equation so obviously i i will substitute back in the first one so i write here substitute m equal to 6 into the first equation okay so it's when you substitute back here what's it happen is all the m you have to substitute become 6 so this is m plus 3n equal to 12 so what is m here m here will be 6 so therefore 3n positive 6 move here will become negative 6 so 3n will equal to 12 minus 6 so therefore 3n will become 6 so in order to get n i divide 3 for both so therefore 3n and n actually uh, n and 3 i can divide become 1 1 okay 6 divided by 3 we got 2 so n will equal to 2 therefore m will equal to 6 n n will equal to 2 that's all for the linear equation 1 and 2 okay this is a simple way actually got another method is like it's like substitute method but then i think this method is is more easier for most of the student but then you ha have to make sure you know what happened like minus negative or plus negative because most of the students do wrong here it's just because they cannot they do not know how to use positive and negative in plus and minus and some students even do not know actually like 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 when six move to here will become negative six because some students sometimes they will become um, plus six again because six here positive move here become negative six some students will forget and then some students even do wrong like three if let's say three n equal to six most of students some students will write like n will equal to 6 minus 3 because 3n here is 3 multiple n you cannot become minus n or you cannot become minus 3 here this one have to become divide by 3 in order to get n so just make sure you don't confuse here i think i think this question will easily give you like four four mark and then at least i will have one or two questions in paper too so please please do more revision on this chapter thanks for watching